hate these bastards! I've ever been in my life! I love everyone! Crazy bastards, sons of wrestling. Tonight, Dean Ambrose came out of his shell. Like, just broke on through to another side. That was awesome. The promo delivered was rocking, and he had sincerity there. And uh, this was the Dean Ambrose that we had a couple years ago, where it was just all out. Instead of jokes and games and funny shit, serious. And this was awesome. I totally dug that promo. Killer. Seth Rollins was also, also goddamn pretty good. And um, I cannot wait for the Battleground main event. Triple threat with Roman Reigns. And that, that was awesome. The Seth Rollins, the Rollins report, changing up the, the uh, interview with uh, Roman Reigns. That was awesome. I liked it. And they're playing it pretty goddamn good. And tonight we had the, the McMahons, Vince, Shane, Stephanie, to see who's in charge of what. And uh, anyway, you saw Shane McMahon gets uh, control of SmackDown Live. And that's a big thing, because now SmackDown's live. We got the draft coming up. This is really, really good stuff. And uh, Vince wants competition. And uh, just like years back, the competition between the two brands. And uh, we're gonna go head to head, and Stephanie said, and she's gonna pull out all stops to crush Shane and SmackDown. So this is pretty goddamn cool that you see this. So that you're gonna have two totally different, basically companies just trying to beat each other to see who's better. And this is excellent. This is perfect. This is needed. Absolutely. Another thing that happened during Raw was the Wyatt Compound match against the New Day, the Wyatt's New Day at the Wyatt Compound. This reeked of Matt Hardy's idea, the final deletion over in TNA, which was, yeah, a lot of likes. So, they, I don't know, <laughs> they may have had this in the works for a long time, who knows, but Matt Hardy's been cooking this up for a long time prior, so, you know, actually, this is good for TNA, actually, because people recognize the, the genius of Matt Hardy. So the guy is excellent. So, hey, kudos to DNA, Jeff and Matt Hardy. Hell yeah, they get some recognition here because they've already done it. And uh, it was recorded probably a couple, about a month or two ago. So that's awesome. Then we get kicked in off Raw with the Battle Royal on who's going to face Miz for the Intercontinental title. He's going on 100 days with that championship. And during this match, the one who wins doesn't even realize it because uh, a couple of the guys, what was it, uh, Corbin, and I don't even remember. But the point is, two dudes there eliminated fucking, and Darren Young was just laying there. Wow, victorious. Moving on to an IC title match. Darren Young said, make him great again. Bob Beckler comes in, picks him up like a little baby. I'm surprised. I thought he was going to drop him. It was close, but nope, he held him. And Bob Backlund and uh, Darren Young, it's coming together, but that was, you saw that as when they first started the program together. Obviously, he's going to get a little bit of a push. We'll see what happens and how long will Bob Backlund be there and will he stay sane? Doubt it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Then we got Zack Ryder versus Sheamus. Zack Ryder's in a whole new mode and uh, I like his seriousness and he's kicking ass. Until a bro kick there at the end. Rusev comes out. He locks in the, the new accolade where he locks him back like a coquina clutch damn near. And uh, just uh, accepts the challenge for the U.S. title. Uh, Zack Ryder once was U.S. champion. So we'll see what happens. I doubt it. I think Rusev's going to be champ for a while. Then we got uh, Brazango versus the Lucha Dragons. And let me tell you what, the decent ass match. And um, what I really liked was the ending. Tyler Breeze that kicked the Callisto and the, the slam roll up. I liked that out of the corner. That was pretty goddamn cool. Something a little different. They, you know, the roll up victories were getting a little obnoxious, but this was a little twist, like a little more oomph to it. And they pick up the win here. The Brazango, those two are perfect together. This, it's just. The match made <laughs> so you know. Let me know what you guys think about Brasango. I'm I'm digging it. I think they really really are. They need each other actually, and it's working. So 
then we got the Rollins report, like I said, where he has that mock interview with Roman Reigns. This was funny, and uh, he basically tears him down a little more about all his shit, and he doesn't give a fuck about anyone, and uh, fans can go fuck kiss, 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 yeah, somebody's ass. Anyway, uh, but Dean Ambrose comes out and just tears it down. This was killer, and uh, looks like Dean Ambrose is ready to fight anytime, anyplace, anywhere. It doesn't fucking matter. Let's do it. And it looks like next week we're going to get a title match. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose. I'm sure there's going to be some shenanigans, obviously, going into Battleground. You better have Dean Ambrose as champ. Simple as that. And then uh, Cesaro versus Owens. Hey, these two, two of my favorites. Killer match. And uh, in the end, you get... Um, Owens hitting the swinging neck breaker for the win. Uh, Sami Zayn comes back finally after getting kicked out of ringside or commentary. Comes back and attacks uh, Owens. Looks like that feud may move on or they're going to be split on the draft, which I believe they will get split. Then uh, after the attack, he gives the Cesaro swing and uh, that happens. Uh, so everybody's happy. Yeah, but Kevin Owens is killer too. Down the road. I hope he's champ. Definitely. Then you got Slater from The Social Outcast versus Titus O'Neil. What did you think? Yes, Heath Slater. I don't think he's won a match in about three years. I really don't believe that he had. I don't remember. Uh, Clash of the Titus. Boom. That's it. The Wyatts and the New Day at the compound. You know what? This is actually okay. A lot of people bitched about it. It was pretty cool. It's like a, you know, a mini movie. Really, um, I like the direction of something new, something different. Yes, the Hardys did it. Yeah, I mean, I get that. It's, but also, every company in the world's done wrestling, so what's the difference? Um, so, I'm totally cool with the Hardys doing it. I dig what they did. And uh, this here, also, I think the Wyatts need something different to uh, you know, elevate them a little more. And I can't wait for Luke Harper to come back. What do you guys think? comment about Luke Harper. That guy's badass in the ring. Bray Wyatt needs to be elevated and be in championship material mode. And uh, with this brand split coming, most likely will be. Then you got the club versus Enzo and Kaz. And um, decent back and forth. AJ gets involved. Then Cena comes out. They say that he wasn't going to be there. He's got to do the SPs, all that good shit. John Cena does arrive and it looks like they're giving Enzo and Kaz the big push here. Joining in with Cena and uh, hey, we'll see where it goes. And this is excellent. Tag teams moving on up. Excellent shit. Then we got Dana Brooke versus Sasha Banks. Dana Brooke looked pretty goddamn good here. Yes, she did lose to a bank statement, but Sasha Banks is the next one in line for that championship in my opinion. They didn't pull the trigger on Becky Lynch, so I think they will eventually on Sasha Banks. And it's well deserved. And hopefully, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, they come back together just clashing that match that they had in NXT. Like I said, in previous reviews, that was killer. Then the ending with the McMahons, yes. We're going to have competition. We're going to have the draft. We're going to have live SmackDown finally every week. This is excellent news for wrestling. So we're about to change the game. Shane O'Max got some plans. Stephanie, she's married to the game, slapped the shit out of Shane after uh, Vince left. But he wants them to gouge each other's eyes out. He wants competition. He wants to see who's got the better ratings, the better social media ratings, all of that good shit. And that's all good for business. The best merch sales. He's pushing to have more money. <laughs> and Vince knows how to make it. So this is excellent in my opinion. What did you guys think of Raw? Eh, the wrestling was kind of yeah slow, but we're building the battleground, which is coming up. And uh, this whole SmackDown Live and Draft coming up next week is awesome. So look forward to that. I will see you next that, next time. And then, obviously, I cannot wait for the SmackDown Draft Live. That's Can't wait for it to see how it works out and see where we're building. This year is going to be pretty goddamn cool. And we're going to be marching into next year. 2017 will be here before you fucking know it. So, guys, comment below, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if it's your first time here, check out the merch, all that good shit, and I will catch you next week.